This video is a recording of a virtual cell cycle lab. We will look at different human tissues and identify the stage of the cell cycle a cell is in. We'll also count the number of cells in the interphase and the four phases of mitosis to determine the mitotic index of the tissue. I've already identified three of the cells that need labeling. The fourth one here, we also know it's my interface because its picture matches the interface picture. We note that in interface, the chromatin is visible, but not the chromosomes. The last picture here is a picture of the prophase because the chromosomes are clearly visible. Pause the video now to record the number of cells in interphase, as well as the four phases of mitosis. And remember, the four phases of mitosis is prophase, metaphase, anaphase, and telophase. Now, let's look at a cell that is a cancerous lung cell. I've identified three of the cells as interface because we can only see their uh, two of the cells as interface because we can only see their chromatin. One cell is in prophase, another is in telophase, and another metaphase. Pause the video now to record the number of cells in interphase as well as the four stages of mitosis. Now, let's look at a normal stomach tissue. We can see most of the cells here are again our interface because only the chromatin are visible. We have one in metaphase because we can see the chromosomes are aligned in the middle of the cell. And we also have one cell here in telophase because the chromosomes are moving to the opposite side of the cell. Pause the video now to record the number of cells in interphase and the four stages of the cell cycle. And now we have a image of a cell from a cancerous stomach tissue. I've labeled the cells here as some as prophase, telophase, anaphase, and metaphase. Once again, you can see the chromosomes here in metaphase are lined up in the middle. In anaphase, the chromosomes are starting to move towards the opposite end. And in telophase, the chromosomes have finally moved to the opposite end. Pause the video now to count the number of cells in interphase as well as the four stages of mitosis. Now we have a picture of a normal ovary tissue. Most of the cells, as you can see here, are interphase. Pause the video now to count the number of cells or interphase as well as the number of cells in mitosis. And lastly, we have an image of cancerous ovarian tissue. Not very many cells are in interphase. Most cells are under going cell division in mitosis. Pause the video now to finally count the number of cells in interphase as well as the number of cells in mitosis. Once you have that, finally calculate the mitotic index of each cell tissue.